Hello everyone. So in this episode of Unreal Engine uh, 5 C++ turret system, we are going to start working on the shooting function for the turret. So we will see how to add a cascade particle system component into the turret using C++ and uh, how to play that repeatedly when the turret is shooting and also we will see how to play a sound in a given location uh, that is that represents the shooting sound so also so this this uh, shooting will be handled to uh, through a timer so when the turret has a valid target it will start shooting uh, like with a given delay in between the shots and when the target character breaks the line of sight the timer will be cleared out and turret will stop shooting so these are the things we are going to work on today and here is the demonstration so if i go to the line of sight start shooting right now i have broken the line of sight the turret is not shooting long anymore if i go to the line of sight again start shooting all right so let's see how to do those things today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support Right, so at the moment uh, our turret can detect the player and follow the player and if I break the line of sight it uh, stops following me and keep the usual sweeping. So next step is to implement shooting from the turret. So first let me open the turret class. and as the first step of implementing shooting uh, let's start let's add a new function called shoot new function void show And let's implement this. Uh, right. Let's collapse these other functions to make it easier for us to navigate in the project in this uh, code. Right. So this is what we need to develop implement so here also i am going to do a line trace in the forward direction where the turret is currently pointing to uh, and detect the hit surface and play the shooting sound so before the line trace uh, we need a sound effect and a muscle flash so let's just implement those two for shooting before implement the actual getting hit parts so I have implemented this audio this sound and this is for gun impact particle I have the blood particle this one this is these are the same particle effects that I have used in my ALS based shooter series and the third person shooter series and also I have a muscle flash here I guess materials are compiling that's why I can't see it oh yeah now I can okay so actually you can feel free to use any of the audio clips and particle effects and muscle flash you have uh, you can use any of them I'll just show how to use them 
and how to play them through C++. First, if I let me open the turret block, right? And the muscle flash is something that we need to have in at the tip of this end of this gun point so it should be played there and therefore i'll add the muscle flash as a component actually there are actually there are four guns here but i'm not going to add four muscle flashes i'm just gonna add one in the middle so it's just the same way when you implement and if you want to add four muscle flashes you can implement them in the same way but i'm uh, i can simply add uh, uh, the muscle flash i showed you is implemented with uh, this is cascade okay so this is uh, this particle is based on cascade particle system and this one uh, the gun impact this is based on Niagara so yeah it's better so you can know how to use both systems so first let's add a cascade particle system component to our turret that should be so for that i think i might have to import a header file or maybe not uh, let's first define that should be uh, your property and should be visible anywhere and also I should be able to uh, edit it in the blueprint version so edit Let's use this property spicy fire you particle system component. Oh, it seems I don't have to use any header files. Okay, I'll call this also flash and I'll use P because it's a particle p underscore muscle flash ah, this should be a pointer right now we need to create the relevant sub object for that so in the constructor muscle flash equals create default sub object to particle system component text muscle flash and we need to attach this to where should we attach this let's attach it to the same beam socket oh, why am I not getting any suggestions to use this setup attachment maybe we need to add this hash angle, the header file let's add it and then see right 
now I get this suggestions set up attachment to text theme socket. Sorry, first I need to give the component that we want to attach, and the component is turret mesh. Right now, let's compile and see if we get that component in here. Compilation complete. And we have the pay muscle clash. So I'll move it. Oh, it's rotated forward this this way. So let me rotate it 180 degrees and move here and move it in the middle. And that way, I think we would be clearly able to see the muscle flash when we shoot. Uh, and as the template, I'll use the rifle muscle. So you can already see that. Uh, but we don't need to s play this automatically. If I play the game, I think it will initially play that because we have auto activated. See, so let's disable that. Oh, we can disable it in the C++ light. I think doing it that way is better. The muscle flash. Auto activate false. Right. So also we need a sound effect as well. So that also need to be a U property. We need to have the same U property specifier. Uh, next thing is uh, we need to assign. A sound wave for this use sound wave actually let's use sound base so we should be either able to assign a sound cue or a sound wave both would work pointer shoot sound Now if I compile, here yeah, shoot sound, I can assign that this, uh, this is actually not a component, so we don't need to set auto activate or anything. Right now let's implement our shoot function. So initially I'm only going to do here is uh, play in the shooting sound and play in the muscle flash that's all. So in blueprints when we want to play a sound what we do is we use play sound at location and there should be something similar in C++ so, so also your force 
We have to use U Gameplay Statics. We need to use this header file, and this is the function. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's see. Gameplay Statics. Oh, let's wait until the intelligence is complete so we can get the suggestions. Mm, you can play statics. Play sound at location. First thing we need to give is world context object. Uh, Give this, then sound base shoots sound, then location get. Actually, we can use the location of the muscle flash. We muscle flash get component location this returns the location of the component in world space right and i think these are optional other things are optional so okay and then we need to activate the muscle flash the muscle flash activate right to make sure that we don't have any compilers let's compile and see right no errors so yeah we still haven't called this shoot function anywhere uh, so what i want to do is um i need to start another timer to do the shooting so for that first we need a timer delegate uh, property so that we can start and stop the timer the shooting timer here yeah, this is trace timer so let me copy that let's take a triple a because shooting because this is also relevant to shooting and that I'll call this one short timer handle. All right, so where should we start this timer? And also, uh, we need few other variables for this as well, uh, like the bullet delay, the de uh, delay between two bullets, two shots. But for now let's just put constants and later on we can promote them to variables and make a way to change them in the blueprint right so we can start the timer start shooting in the first time we detect an enemy and that is yeah here When we call check enemy, uh, we can actually do a simple check here because we don't need to restart, start timer again and again. 
every time we detect an enemy so if we already have an enemy we can return we are doing an early, early return if we don't have a valid enemy reference here that means the remaining part should be executed i don't need this enemy detected uv log now but uh, i'll just comment it without deleting so you remember we had this and anyway anytime you need to do some debugging you can enable this so here we can start shooting in the first time we detect not the first time when we detect an enemy and here also uh, when we when the enemy break the line of sight if we already have a enemy reference we already have enemy reference then only we should set it to null pointer and here we should stop so how do we start shooting uh, actually it would be much clearer if we do a check like this and within the brackets we can put this so this is much clearer than the way we had it before right so to start shooting we have to start a timer that calls this shoot function and how do we start a timer we did it here get world timer manager set timer so yeah like this let's do the same thing here get world timer manager set oh before the we need to brackets set timer first thing we need is timer handler so show timer handle in red uh, Actually, there are multiple overloads here. In object. That is this. And F simple delegate. So the function that we need to call. That is C a cpp carrot short and in what's the next thing let me refer to the function we have already called this ah we need an at sign here and sign here and the, then the delay and then if it is looping and the initial delay so yeah, we need and sign then the delay so let's say uh turret is shooting each 0.4 seconds first delay is oh, and also it should be looping so true first delay let's say point one. Oh, point 0.4 all right so i think now it should start shooting and when we lose the enemy we should clear this shoot timer handle for that Word timer manager. 
Okay. Clear timer. Shoot timer handle. All right. Shall we compile and see? Here. So what this says is uh, property has a category but set but not export exposed to editor or blueprints with any edit anywhere or visible anywhere so yeah so this is not actually visible but we have a category which is no use okay that's fine let's compile again Compilation complete. Let's see. Right. So as you can see, uh, the sound uh, appears. Uh, but the muzzle flash only appears like in a while so the reason is when we activate it it only reactivates after the muzzle flash is complete so I think we can do something about that is there a reactivate Right, let's call activate with reset row. Maybe that would solve the problem. But it can look ugly sometimes. Let's see. No, no, it looks fine. Great. So our function is working and the next step is doing a line trace and hitting the enemy uh, but I've it has already taken closer to half an hour now so I'll stop this episode right here and in the next part oh wait next part we will work on that one more thing we forgot to check if the timer clears out if I break the line of sight and it works great all right so yeah i'm gonna stop this episode right here and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye